first and foremost, I want to give all praise, glory, and honor unto Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Harakakwadash. I would also like to give a double honors unto the apostles and elders of Great Millstone that do real well. I would also like to say a sincere shalom unto the hopeful elect that are scattered throughout the four winds of the earth, unto the true servants, the prophets, the men that are prophesying and laboring in this truth, in this doctrine, unto you I say shalom. Those that have fought against the Lord never prevailed. All right. And this is through history. This is the past 30 years. Men that have fought against his truth. All right. Men have, that have fought against the will of Yahweh, Shai, they never prevailed. The Lord always wins at the end of the day. All right. And those in the, in, in the ancient times and in these times. All right. You got I, you know, they fight against us spiritually. OK, because we believe we have the true doctrine. All right. The 100 percent doctrine. All right, the IUIC, the the the, the Sakaris, all right, the Comfy, Comfy, he fought, you know, uh, 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 you know, against against the the true men of the Lord. All right, hey, look what happened to the nigga Polite. Polite fought against the Lord, fought against the truth, and what happened to him? He never, he didn't prevail. All right, and, and he's in jail. Comfy's dead. All right, so how much more of these other Israelite groups that are fighting against the true men of the Lord, fighting against the spirit of the Lord? What 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 is their end? Okay. You, you, you know, pretty much, and, and, and it's a spiritual fight, okay? We, 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 we get on these guys because, you know, it, it's really out of love and, 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 you know, defending the doctrine, all right? You know, they they go off on the names. They go off on certain laws, and you can have sex on the Sabbath day. And, and you know, they, they bring a, a, a certain type of nigga spirit to the truth. And when we rebuke, rebuke, rebuke them, okay, they come at us, and they think it's personal. All right. The lessons that brothers and apostles and elders put up about these different groups, various groups. OK, it ain't it, it, it ain't that that man personally going at these people. It's the spirit of the Lord. OK, in the spirit. And, and when those that fought against the spirit of the Lord, they never prevailed. They never prevailed. All right. They never won. The Lord is undefeated. OK, never lost. All right. Um, let me grab uh, Acts uh, five. Excuse me. And uh, 38. 38. And say, um, yeah, sorry, 38. And now I say unto you, refrain from these men and let them alone. For if this counsel or this work be of men, it will come to naught. But if it, but if it be of the most high, Ye cannot overthrow it, throw it, lest happily ye be found to even fight against the Most High. You can't overthrow this truth, all right? You can't over overthrow the spirit of Yahweh Shemel Shai. That's in the apostles. That's in the, the, the elders, the, the, the men that follow that follow them, but really follow Yahweh Shemel Shai, okay? You guys are fighting against the Lord. You're fighting against the spirit of truth, all right? The, the true knowledge and wisdom of the scriptures, Actually, I wanted to um, let me see. Oh, let me grab this. Because all hey, everyone that tried to fight against the Lord, what happened to uh, what happened to Jonah? All right. What happened to um, these are many accounts. Uh, what happened to uh, uh, Apostle Paul? This is uh, Acts nine, and um, I'm sorry, verse five. I'll start at um, three. As he. And as he journeyed, he came near Damascus, Damascus, and suddenly there shined round about him a light from heaven, and that was Yahweh Shai in a chariot. And he fell to the earth, and he heard a voice saying, "Out of out, excuse me, saying unto him, Saul, Saul, why persecuted thou me?" All right, and this was Paul's name was Saul before he, you know, um, it was changed to uh, uh, Paul. And he said, Who art thou, Lord? And the Lord said, I am Yahweh Shai, whom thou persecuted. And 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 Saul or Paul, you know, before he came, you know, into the true knowledge of the truth, or he used to persecute uh, 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 the um, the Jews. All right, to persecute the followers of Hamashiach or Yahweh Shai. All right, it is hard for thee to kick against the pricks. All right. And he, and he was fighting against the Lord. Let me get this in a, um, another translation. Uh, let me 
Let's see, is that the verse? I remember real quick. Um, it's one that says fight. Uh, let me see, is it in the... Uh, it was in another version I looked up. Let me see something real quick. Amplified. Uh, I look it up on my phone. I'll read it real quick. Hold on, bear me one second. This is this is Acts nine and uh, five in the um, Easy English Bible. Acts nine and five, and it reads: um, Saul asked, "Lord, who are you?" He said, "I am Yahweh Shai," and you are fighting against me. All right. He, the, the, he fought against the Lord. He fought against the, the truth. All right. What happened? The, hey, the Lord prevailed. All right. The Lord uh, uh, knocked him off that, that horse, blinded him for three days. All right. And he gave him his sight back. But hey, he fought against the Lord. And what happened? All right. The Lord prevailed. Jonah. All right. And these were prophets. These were, were, were you know, these were these men are written in the book of life. All right. Jonah uh, was says Jonah's disobedience. Let me, um, and the word of the Lord came unto Jonah, the son of Amadi, saying, Arise, go to Nineveh, that great city, and cry against it, for their wickedness is come up, come up before me. Okay, and it, it mean cried uh, against it, meaning prophesy against it. But Jonah rose up to flee unto Tarshish from the presence of the Lord and went down to Joppa, and he found a ship going to Tarsh, Tar, Tarshish. So he paid the fare thereof and went down into it to go with them unto Tarshish from the presence of the Lord. So he was running from the truth. He was running from his, his job. He was fighting against the Lord. And the Lord sent out a great wind into the sea. And there was a mighty tempest in the sea so that the ship would, was like to be broken. The Lord made them make them shipwreck. Okay, let me see. Uh, let me scroll down. And he said unto him, what shall we do unto thee that the sea may calm un, unto us so the sea wrought and was temp, and, uh, and was temptu temptuous so the lord made it made made, the, made their their journey rough and what happened they threw um th threw Jonah off the uh off the boat and, they, and and a large fish swallowed him let me see and the men feared exceedingly and the men feared the lord because they, they all the men prayed to their gods but you know Jonah's power god was the, the 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 god of abraham isaac and jacob all right the most high yahweh wherefore when they cried unto the most high he said we beseech thee o lord we beseech thee let us not perish for the life for this this man's life and lay not upon us innocent blood for thou o lord has done it done as it pleased thee so they so they took jonah and cast him forth into the sea and and the sea ceased from her raging then the men feared the Lord exceedingly and offered a sacrifice unto the Lord and made vows. So, and that's when, you know, but he fought against the Lord. The fish swallowed him. All right. Uh, um, and, you know, he was returned and he went to Nineveh and prophesied. Okay. Hey, same. And, and these, these are Israelites. All right. So how much more are the, uh, the wicked? All right. Let's go to Daniel. All right. When, um, you know, this is really uh, Nebuchadnezzar puffed up with pride. But all right, this is uh, Daniel 4 and um, verse 30. The king spake, or I'll read 29, and the end of 12 months he walked in his palace of the kingdom of Babylon. The king spake and said, Is not this great Babylon that I have built for the house of the kingdom by the might of my power and for the honor of my majesty? While the word was in the king's mouth, there fell a voice from heaven saying, O king Nebuchadnezzar, to thee it is spoken, the kingdom is departed from thee, and they shall drive thee, they shall drive thee from men, and thy dwelling shall be with the beasts of the field, and they shall make thee to eat grass as oxen, and seven times shall, seven times shall pass over thee until thou Know that the Most High ruleth in the kingdom of men, and giveth it to whomsoever He will. So the Lord, 
all right, with this Nebuchadnezzar with his pride, all right, the Lord had to humble him, okay? All right, just, just like the Lord is about to start humbling a lot of these guys that, that's fighting against the spirit of uh, of Yahweh Hashim al All right, it ain't us saying it. it, it you know, these niggas, they take it personal. All right, it's the spirit of the Lord that, that's rebuking you. All right, what is that scripture? Um, open rebuke. No, it's in Proverbs 20. Uh, Twenty-seven. Yep. If they, you know, they think that you know, y'all y'all fighting against. At the end of the day, a lot of these groups, all right, that's teaching these crazy wayward doctrines, doctrine of devils, all right, teaching hell, all right, teaching you can have sex on the Sabbath day, teaching that the new moon is the a uh, 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 full moon. Okay, all every everything that the everything is. Everything that has been revealed is revealed. All right, it's 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 no new revelations. Okay, that you know, oh, you know, Bishop Bishop Nate knows this, or Sakari broke this down, or the apostles broke this down wrong. Sakari got the real breakdown. You guys is fight. You got you you guys is really fighting against the spirit of Yahweh Hashem Al Shai. This is uh, Proverbs um, twenty seven and five. Re open rebuke is better than secret love. We're open. This is the, really the the Lord that's openly rebuking you guys okay but it's going to come a time when that op open rebuke cease and the lord is going to bring forth the judgments okay see everyone that i got like the title of everyone that has fought against the lord all right in the ancient world all right now what was their end more judgment all right they that the lord you know uh broke up them schools all right you know uh, uh, uh you know put you know jake back in the world all right, put sent sent Jake to the spiritual realm. All right, so at the end of the day, man, you guys is not you 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 know you fight against the Lord, you're not gonna win. All right, and we believe through the Spirit, humbly, we have a hundred percent truth. All right, and Yahweh Shem Shai is, is dealing with the apostles. All right, of of Great Millstone. All right, so I just want to make this lesson quick. So Lord willing, this lesson was edifying unto the elect. And I want to give all praise, glory, and honor unto Yahweh Bashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Harakakodash, Shalom.